In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Have you ever received a gift that you felt it's too much? I can't give a, another gift back to this person because it's too much for me. I can't afford buying such expensive gift to my friend. Did you reject the gift because it's too good to be true or is it too expensive? You can't return a similar gift to this person. Sometimes we do so, but be careful. Rejecting the gift is rejecting the giver as well. So how I can live with such big gift in the same time, I am keeping my humility. If somebody saw me owning such expensive thing, given to me as a gift, how I can behave. This is what Virgin Mary is teaching us today. We spoke, and I'm sure you heard a lot of sermons about the humility of Virgin Mary. But the main idea of the humility of Virgin Mary is to understand the proper meaning of the humility. Because sometimes we feel the humility is don't accept expensive gifts. Don't give expensive gifts. It's not about expensive or not expensive. Do you see the hand of the giver or not? Virgin Mary said in Luke chapter 1 and verse 48, For he has regarded the lowly state of his maidservant. She knew or she believed in this humble opinion of herself. So are you going to accept such precious, unexpected, uncomprehended gift. You are going to be the mother of the Most High. She was showing us humility is to accept, not to think of it. Sometimes we feel, I don't deserve it. She was full of grace and she received the gift humbly, not was proud. It's, I am the one who deserves to be the mother of God. She never said so. And the same for me and for you now. How do you receive the gift of God? Every liturgy, you receive the life of Christ, the body and the blood of Christ. How you receive it, how you honor it. And how you honor your body and the body of your brother, your wife, your husband, who received the same gift like you. Sometimes we feel the liturgy is something and the life is something different. But Virgin Mary was telling us, I received the gift which is uncomprehendable. And I behaved the, as the one who is receiving the gift without showing off that I have the gift. We don't have any record in the Bible except one verse. She said, from now on, all generations will glorify me. Based on what? The gift which was given, given to her. Not because I am the one who is keen and seeking this gift. Humility doesn't mean that you are going to reject the gift. Because rejecting the gift means you are rejecting the giver himself. It's time to learn from Virgin Mary how to be humble in an appropriate way. To see and to believe that this gift is given to me while I don't deserve it. She is the full of grace. He is the one who was for generations was waiting for us. Yes, I am the one who doesn't deserve it. But if I have the humble mind, I will accept this grace. I will accept this gift. So the humility of Virgin Mary was showing us at all times. If we are humble enough, we can receive a gift which is above our comprehension. Some even reject to accept that their sins are forgiven. Why? Because I don't deserve it. Virgin Mary is telling us, if you are humble, you will accept what you don't deserve. To the point, some of the church fathers were commenting on the verses of St. Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 11. What does it mean to have communion in a worthy manner or unworthy manner? He said in a very simple way. The worthy manner is to believe that you are unworthy. Then the grace is yours. Then the life of Christ will be poured out in your life. And the Holy Spirit will enrich you because of your humility. Humility means we accept. Humility means we know what we received, but we are not boasting of what we have received. We know what we have received is something beyond our comprehension. If you imagine in every liturgy, 
you receive the life of Christ. You receive the remedy of immortality, as per the words of St. Ignatius of Antioch. So I have been given the gift of immortality. If I am walking in the Lord, if I am living a life of repentance, if I am in communion with Christ through his body and his blood. So how much more are you looking for? And how can you say that I'm worthy of it? Because of our unworthiness, we receive the grace. And because of unworthiness, we enjoy the grace and we accept this grace. Virgin Mary was telling us, yes, he, regarded, he has regarded the lowly state of his maidservant. So behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed because I received, I accepted to receive the gift. I accepted the grace which is above my company. It's time for us all to repent for our arrogance, for our pride. Sometimes you go to the Father's confession and you confess your, your sins and you repent and still you believe he didn't forgive me. Why? Are you thinking or the devil is deceiving you or me that you can add to what Jesus did on the cross? It's absolutely wrong. One more thing. But why my spiritual father sometimes giving me some spiritual exercise? It's not to forgive your sins. It's to train you to protect you from falling is to encourage you to remind yourself about your weakness, to humble yourself to be able to receive the grace at any time and at all times. Be careful. Humility doesn't mean that you reject the gift. Humility, it means you know it's above your comprehension and for us, we don't deserve it, but by the grace of God, but out of a humble mind, we accept this grace to enjoy it to its fullness because he came from heaven into earth to give us his life and to lift up us with him once more into heaven. Let us pray for the intercessions of Virgin Mary to help us to have this new mindset of humility, accepting all the graces that have been given to us through Christ and enjoying the fullness of the new life in our Lord Jesus Christ. May the glory of Lord Jesus Christ be with you from now and forever and ever. Amen.